summer break. One last chance to not care. To call it off. To get it on. To make plans. Or make a plan B. One last chance to love yourself. Or to pretend you're anyone else. 72 days. One last chance to act on old crushes. Make a few stupid decisions. And go all in. Oh, my sweetheart. Because what's there to lose? How are you guys doing today? We're very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Thank you so much for your time. So much fun on the movie. So Glad you much heart. It. I like it. Thank you. What was about the script that got your attention? Like any particular stuff? Um, super relatable. Um, I think that uh, you know, we were just talking about it earlier. A lot of a lot of teens go through these situations, facing adulthood, relationships, um, uh, just sort of growing, growing apart, uh, building new friends, and just sort of going through that high school life cycle that everyone goes through. I think um, that was why I was pretty much drawn to it. And I was in a place where I was doing a lot of deep, drama, heavy, spiritually draining films where I just wanted to, you know, um, you know, show my heart in, 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 in a project and just like have fun every day, so. What was, what was like filming in Chicago? We actually Wait. only um, filmed in Chicago for one day, and we it shot was one day, huh? yeah at I mean, Wrigley for it? 20 hours, and it was amazing. I mean, we fit everything in. We still had pizza. That was the first oh, yeah. thing we did yeah, when we got right. there. Deep dish. Um, oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Um, Lose, and <laughs> I, you know, it's my fa it's one of my favorite cities. It's the energy there is so amazing, and all the people are so nice. So yeah. it was really fun. Yeah, it was really cool. You know, just for that, it was one day. And I was only on the last week of the film. So I didn't even, I only worked yeah. with Jacob and Halston. I didn't work with anyone else, really. Mm -hmm. And Sozie. Um, I asked for that specifically. We got a scene together, yeah. and I said, He said, no. <laughs> I was wondering how that <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Because I thought I read that. <laughs> yeah. And for you guys, what was the, like, the perfect summer? Oh. Oh. Hopefully oh, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like when we were kids, it, summer felt so much bigger than it does now. Yeah, you know, I was, was gonna say something. It was like, huge. Yeah. It was just, and, and then I would like go to Warp Tour, and it lasted like three years. One summer would last. It felt like forever. Um, probably just like hanging out with my buddies and and doing stupid stuff and going to Warp Tour and getting dirty and getting hurt and falling in love and out of love and just experiencing everything in one summer. Yeah. Um, Same, getting dirty and getting hurt. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? When yeah. I was uh, I, I was a basketball player my whole life, and when I was 15 years old, my travel team, uh, we actually won the national championship. Mm. So that summer, though, we, we were in Little Rock, Arkansas, and then I remember after winning the championship, getting the trophy, we, we had to drive back to Memphis, the airport, and we were like bumping like Empire State of Mind, like representing oh, New York. Yes, yes. That was so, a pretty special summer. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Because right now it's kind of a, like, a, my summer is like kind of a week. It's so quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, and what do you think people are going to take away from the last summer? I think that um, people will take away, you know, the idea of just living in the moment and trusting your feelings and living life with this sense of excitement that youth brings to life. And I think that, you know, you don't have to be 18 to be experiencing new things and going through the... Um, same types of experiences as these characters and so I think everyone will walk away with like a happy warm it's a rom-com it's like very romantic yeah. and lovey yeah. it, it I love love so to me it makes me want to go out and fall in love yeah totally yeah. it's cute well said yeah. oh and what's yeah. so sweet about this movie is I really do believe it's for all ages yeah. there's only like a couple scenes that maybe would are pg-13-esque but yeah. I mean for example yeah. next week I'm like I have a very big family and I'm getting my whole family together from like my youngest cousins yeah. to like my yeah. grandparents and I think all ages because everybody's been through this time, can enjoy yeah. it together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Absolutely. That's right, guys. Thank you so much <laughs> Thank for your time. You. Thank you. And yeah. keep doing, like, keep doing what you guys are doing because uh -huh. you're the future of the, this industry. Thank and you. just keep doing. That's and so kind of you. Thank, yeah. you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Yes, so it is. It is. So nice. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. So, what's the deal with you and Phoebs? <laughs> we haven't talked about it yet. Keeping the mystery alive. I dig it, man. Sometimes I fear whether I'm even capable of love. Welcome to my office. You're making it very hard to judge you. 
summer's just going by way too fast. I wanted to see you before we both leave for school. Hey! I gotta go, but um, have a nice fourth, okay? Phoebe, there's something I need to tell you. You just went along and you did nothing! I didn't know what to do. I've never been through this before. One last summer. The last chance to go all in. I mean, what's there to lose, right?